Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So it's been a while then since I've just kind of um, sat here one on one with you guys and just kind of talked to the camera um, and just gone through some different things really. So today's topic is going to be on Facebook ads. Recently, I was catching up on my Instagram DMs, just talking to quite a few people. And it's clear then that the number one subject that people tend to struggle with and find difficulty with is the Facebook ad side of things. So as I was going through then, um, I made some notes on my phone in fact, and I've got for you today then seven different tips and tricks if you like that I'm going to be going through um, and just kind of like the common mistakes I see people making and how to solve them and what you could be doing differently and ultimately then to help you guys um, find some more success with your Facebook ads. Before we jump into tip number one then I just want to very quickly say I do read every single comment so if there is a question you want to ask me something you're having problems with in case just make sure you leave a comment down below I will see it I will read it and I will respond to you. Um, also a big thanks as well to everybody who watched my previous video and liked it, it hit over 100 likes in the space of like 24 hours which is pretty good for me so there will be a part two to that video coming very shortly which is going to be a cbo scaling method so if you do want to make sure you don't miss that video that's coming out um, just make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so with that being said then let's jump straight into point number one which is it's kind of two points combined in one so it's audience sizes are too large slash they don't let their ads run for enough time. Now, a lot of people might disagree with me when it comes to choosing smaller audience sizes, which is absolutely fine, by the way. When it comes to running Facebook ads, it's all about finding what works for you. But what I will say then is a lot of the people I speak to on the one-to-one -one calls um, and we'll speak about their Facebook ads, we'll go through their ads manager, etc. cetera. Um, and the very first ad sets and audiences they try to target will be like five, 10 million people, which is super, super broad. So the first thing I'll get them to do is reduce those audience sizes down to around the kind of 1 million mark, sometimes even smaller and trust me in most cases it completely transforms the results they're getting the number one reason being why then is because when you narrow your audience you have to add more interests to the detail tags and section and what essentially what that does is it increases the quality of your audience because you'll be targeting those people who are more passionate and more involved in the niche that you're that you've chosen essentially so that is why you'll have better results now when it comes to scaling etc and you've got a seasoned pixel that's matured then going after the bigger audiences by all means is absolutely fine but if you are one of those people then that has been running facebook ads um, and not been getting good results if you're going after super broad and super large audiences this may be where you're going wrong now the second half to this point then was the fact that people don't give their ads enough time to essentially optimize they just after a day or two if they're not profitable they'll just switch them off now there's a couple of reasons of why um, this would lead to not getting the results that you're hoping for number one is it comes down to conversion rate so facebook is a numbers game i'll put some screenshots up on the screen now in a second so you can see the kind of conversion rate that i'm working with and i did some quick maths and you're looking at a 0.1 percent in terms of the reach versus purchases or at least i am in fact tell a lie it's more kind of like 0.05% to 0.1%. So what that means essentially is then for every 1,000 to 2,000 people that see your ad, essentially you can expect about one purchase. So if you're running $5 Facebook ads or five pound Facebook ads and you only let them run for a day or two days, your ads aren't gonna reach enough people to essentially see those purchases come back. So you're switching them off way too early before you give them a chance to bring in any sales. So that was point number one. Then point number two is moving on to the creative. So the creative in some respects is the most important part of your Facebook ad because it's what the customer sees, it's what needs to capture their attention. Facebook being a social media platform, we're not only yet, we're not only competing against other advertisers on the platform, but we're also competing against people's best friends. We're competing against the pages they've liked. We're competing against other apps on their phone because essentially as somebody's on Facebook there's a whole bunch of different notifications that can come in or if they've got a large mobile phone they'll see your ad but then they'll also see kind of like a glimmer of what's below it too and if that's a funny meme video they're just going to scroll past your ad and go and watch that funny video that they want to tag their friends in so that's why the creative is so important because it's the number one thing that's kind of responsible for capturing your audience's attention. So a couple of kind of quick tips then on how to improve that is number one is try and include a face or an animal because people naturally, it's like a natural instinct that people are drawn to other people's faces. Think about it. When you walk around in public, if you're out on the street or if you're in a restaurant, you naturally look at somebody else's face and it's the same with animals. This is why 
the dog and cat niche is such a stereotypical example for e-commerce and dropshipping is because animals are quite joyful, they're quite active and playful and emotional animals. And when people see an animal having fun, they experience that same emotion, they have that connection. And that is why animal videos go viral so much. If you think about it, just a few years ago, there was Keyboard Cat and there's been loads of different ones and it's because people just like watching animals. And that's why they're such an effective niche when it comes to marketing, when it comes to dropshipping. Just a couple of quick things then to end this point on creatives. Um, number one then is if you're looking for inspiration uh, to take on ad creatives, check out a dropshipping company called Blue Crate. Go to the Facebook ad library, put their name in, you'll see all the ads they've created and ran. Um, and they do a really good and effective job of doing the things that I've just discussed. The other thing as well is to keep in mind when you're um, creating your creative is rather than think will somebody buy this product to think will somebody share this at the end of the day we're advertising on a social media platform we need to take advantage of that plus it looks good in Facebook's ads eyes as well if you run an ad that loads of people are engaging with that's essentially what Facebook want people to do they want people to engage on their platform so if they're engaging with your ad that's a good thing and ultimately it's going to improve the results of your Facebook ads moving on to point number three is quite a quick um, but effective one which is the fact that you should advertise the fact you accept PayPal just put it somewhere if you're running a carousel ad or just at the bottom of your of the actual ad creative text just to say that you accept PayPal the number one reason if you watch my second to last video where I showed you a study of the reasons of why people won't buy from you and the number one reason is trust and by showing and advertising the fact you accept PayPal it completely eliminates that trust because everybody sees PayPal as a third party that they can trust and use to shop with you safely number four then is I see people do it all the time probably 90% of people fall foul to this which is spreading their budgets too thinly so what they'll do then is if they have say 100 pounds to play with they'll split that over 10 ad sets when in reality what they'd be better off doing is splitting that 100 pounds over say two ad sets and the reason being for this then in fact there's two reasons number one is that ad sets optimize on an ad set level this isn't me saying this by the way in fact i'll see if i can find it on the facebook website again i'll put a screenshot up now ad sets optimize on ad set level the more money you put through an ad set the more it can optimize and the better the results will be so if you spread your budget too thinly essentially none of your ad sets will optimize and all of your results will be poor whereas if you put all of your budget say through two or three different ad sets all two and three of them will optimize and therefore bring you those results that you want so it's quite a simple one but trust me again it can completely transform the results that you're currently getting moving on to point number five again there may be some people who disagree with this that's absolutely fine at the end of the day it's about finding what works for you um, and number five is again it's kind of two in one is choosing the wrong interests slash they usually go really broad and simple um, I see it quite a lot as well recommended on different Facebook groups recommended in other YouTube videos um, where people will say just choose one broad interest and that's all you need to target now depending on what stage you're at with your pixel with the ad set how much you've spent etc it may work it may be absolutely fine but for the beginner running the very first few ad sets then the results are going to be very um, hit and miss to be honest and the other way to look at it as well is that if it was really that simple just to choose one interest and that's going to be enough to sell your product then why isn't everybody making hundreds of thousands of pounds on Facebook ads and it's because choosing the right interests targeting the right audience is a skill now this isn't to be confused with when you're scaling if you have a matured pixel then you can go out and target those super broad interests and super large audiences because essentially your pixel knows who your ideal customer is but in the beginning running five pound Facebook ads and you're testing audiences if you're going for a 10 million audience size then the results are going to be very hit and miss if you don't believe me then you can always go out and test it yourself my advice on this then is to think along the lines of interests that are related to specific people in your niche so for example then um, going back to the animal niche if we choose the dog niche then to simply choose dogs as an interest there's going to be dog owners within that obviously but there's also going to be a lot of people in that audience in that interest that don't own dogs so try and think along the lines of interests that are only relatable to dog owners so for example then dog training that's an interest you can go after dog food 
um, dog walking because these are all interests related to people who own dogs and people who own dogs are going to be the people who are most likely to buy your dog product now if you do want a more detailed video about picking interests i've done loads and loads in the past if you come in if you ask me for the link i can send you the link if not just have a search through um, my facebook ads playlist point number six then is people choosing the wrong countries again at time time again i see beginners tagged in say 10 different countries or even tagged in worldwide your audience the markets are different country to country so by going worldwide essentially you're having one marketing strategy for the whole world and trust me your results going to be very hit and miss if not just poor from day one so my advice then on this point advice that i've followed myself since, since day one i advise it to all the people i speak to on a one-to-one -one call all the people in my ecom academy is focus on one country at a time focus on the country that matches the currency of your store find success in one country and then worry about tackling and taking over the whole rest of the world just a kind of like a side note or a side tip then when it comes to scaling on facebook is that um, in fact i could put i shouldn't i need to put an infographic together for something like this is that if this is the maturity of your pixel then this is the audience size that you're capable of targeting if your audience size is all the way up here way too big for your pixel to cope then that's where you see facebook ad inconsistencies whereas the more sales that come in the more matured your pixel becomes and then the larger audiences you can target so again to bring that audience size down and to make your audience higher quality then just focus on one country at a time the seventh and final point then a very important one is move into lookalike audiences as soon as possible and the reason being for this then is because the initial ads you run they'll be cold interest ads it'll be cold interest traffic that you're targeting Therefore, it's going to be the traffic that converts the least. So you're getting less bang for your buck, essentially. By targeting lookalike audiences, then essentially you're targeting people who are most similar to those who have already performed certain actions on your store, whether it's just visit your store, whether it's add to cart, whether it's even purchase. So by moving to lookalike audiences as soon as possible, you're going to be spending more budget on a higher quality audience that typically is going, to, is going to convert a lot higher. And as a result, you're going to make more profit, which is obviously something we all want to do. So with that being said there, guys, that is all seven points. I really hope you stuck with me throughout the whole video. If you did, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you let me know. Hit that like button. As I mentioned in the intro, I do read every single comment. So any questions at all, feel free to just bombard me um, with as many as you like. Just comment them down below. And finally, I do upload four videos every single single week so again for regular content please do make sure you subscribe to my channel and finally then thanks again for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one